Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super short and we're just talking about music photography and whether or not you need internships. So we're going to jump right into this, but really quickly, my name is Boston and I'm a music photographer based in Los Angeles. I've been doing this for about seven years ish and I got started by just shooting and just like forcing myself into the industry and when I was doing some keyword research about like what people are looking into when it comes to music photography I saw music photography and internships and concert photography internships come up quite a bit and this is just something that I wanted to talk about because the idea of an internship seems really good for you to get like started in the industry. Working in a service industry or like the entertainment industry, something that's like kind of difficult to get into, having an internship and that like work experience under your belt is super helpful for your success. But the idea of an internship for music photography doesn't really mesh well. And the reason that I say that is because when it comes to concert photography, you can't really bring someone along with you. So if you're talking about an internship where you're working with another concert photographer, that kind of doesn't happen a lot because a concert photographer most likely isn't going to get another pass for another concert photographer to be there. There's no reason for PR management to give out two photo passes for one photographer. So the idea of like shadowing someone or working with someone um, in that respect doesn't really work well for the idea of being a concert photographer. So in that case, like what I think of as music photography internships, it it doesn't it doesn't like work as a traditional sense for an internship but there are things that you can do instead to get that experience if you are looking to get that experience under your belt and actually just have time shooting the best thing that you can do is reach out to a local band or a friend of yours to get that experience every single band has to have practice you can show up and shoot their practice that is actually really good practice for you because a lot of like motion is still happening at practice like you can capture the drummer you can get up close and personal if the band is okay with it you can get more like documentary style images that like photojournalism like behind the scenes um but you can really really practice at a practice instead of doing it at a live concert. But obviously reaching out and working with a band, you can get that experience at a practice, you can shoot a concert with them, you can get that experience through a portrait shoot. That all being said, that's a great way to start. But if you're looking for like an internship in the idea of like a mentor or someone that was teaching you something, the best thing that you can do is reach out to a friend that is also a fellow photographer or a photographer that you admire just message them and say, hey, can I shadow you? This would be the closest thing to a like traditional internship is shadowing a photographer and really learning from them like how they work, what they like use as their settings, their gear, how to pose people, like things to keep in mind. So if you reach out to a photographer and shadow them, you can learn all of those skills and actually have that communication, that like really teaching session that's more like an internship. Obviously, it's going to be very hard if you are trying to shadow them for a like actual concert. Um, unless it's something where you guys go to a venue that you don't need a photo pass. And this is also kind of what I would recommend is if you have a friend or a photographer that's willing to go to a local club with you and like really talk you through how to shoot a live setting at kind of like a local club with a local band that it's not really high pressure and there's no photo pass, there's no photo pit, like no one like there's no rules and all of that, that would be fantastic. But 
you're still going to have to take that first step and reach out to that photographer. There's no real like setup for this. There's nothing like on LinkedIn that you'll be able to find like a photographer allowing an internship <laughs> um, that I know of. So just speaking from my own opinion and my own experience, I think that the best thing is to reach out to those photographers that you admire or friends of yours specifically and ask them if you can shadow them. And that's going to be the closest thing to an internship when it comes to concert photography. So definitely take that step, reach out to photographers and ask them if there's something that you guys can do together where you can get that learning and that experience. And that was it. I am just going to keep this short and sweet and just have that little ramble of whatever I just said as my video for this week. Again, my name is Boston. I'm a concert photographer and I put out new videos every Thursday. So please come back next week and join me in the next one. I also have a podcast called Taking Over the Photo Pit where I interview badass concert photographers and they give so many good tips and like advice about how to get started in their journeys. So if you're new to concert photography, I highly, highly recommend recommend checking out that podcast. It is on all streaming platforms. So please go check that out. Otherwise, I will see you guys here next week. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye.